Since making the last video about installing an NFLA Canopy module and binding it with ZHA, I've moved over to using ZigBee to MQTT, which at least in my setup is far more responsive. A couple of people asked for a video on how to do that, so here we are. I'm going to assume you've already got ZigBee to MQTT configured and you've paired both your wall switch and Canopy module to your network and updated them to the latest OTA. First, we need to open our wall switch and go to the binding tab. Inside of here, we're going to select a source endpoint of endpoint 2. And then we'll go find our canopy. And we're going to use endpoint 1 on the canopy. We're going to set this to control level and on off so that we can control the dimmer. And now we'll just select bind to bind the two of these together. Now that those are bound, uh, the screen just didn't load correctly here, so I need to go off the screen and come back in order to get the additional binding options. Uh, this time we're going to bind endpoint 3 on the switch to endpoint 2 on the canopy. This is the control for the fan. And again, we're going to select the level control and on off so that we can control the speed of the fan. And bind. Now that these are bound, we're going to hop back over to the Exposes tab and we're going to scroll down and put this particular switch into smart bulb mode because I don't need it to actually switch anything at the wall. Now we go down and set the fan control levels uh, for low, medium and high. You can set these to whatever levels make sense to you. Um, I've set them up here to be approximately thirds so that I have a variety of speeds available for my toggle. You may find that you want to set these differently depending on the speeds that your own fan operates at. Now that we've set levels, we need to come up to fan control mode and we're going to set this to cycle so that we can cycle between off, low, medium, and high and back to off using that configuration button. Now we're going to set a color. Uh, I used green. Uh, this way when you toggle the fan level at the switch, you're going to see the green LEDs light up so that you know you're controlling that. And we're going to scroll down here to button delay. Um, I personally like to set this to zero. This allows for instantaneous control of the light in the fan rather than having a delay looking for button press events. But it does disable the ability for you to do things like a double tap if you want to use those types of features with your switch in Home Assistant. So now with the switch here, light is on, light is off. Turn it back on here. We can adjust the dimming level. And by tapping our configuration button, we can cycle the fan to low, medium, high, full speed, and back to off. That's it.